Right, I thought it would be interesting to go over my loadout, which I'm going to be using for Vault of Glass tomorrow. Now, you're going to have to bear with me here, as this might be a bit rambly. Right then, so we're going to start off at the top. I'm going to probably end up using Night Stalker, but I'm aware that, you know, Stasis might be quite strong, but I think the whole support ability that this thing has is going to be really useful. Also, you'll notice I'm rocking 100 mobility. That's why I've got my invisibility dodge here. Right, moving on to the weapons, Izanagi's Burden is proving to be a very, very strong pick, especially for high-level PvE content, just because of the sheer damage output, so that's the reason I've got that there. Also, you'll notice I've got the Catalyst here, which makes it slightly better. Moving on to the secondary, we can mess around here like I could use an SMG. The main reason I've got all masterworked weapons is I'm trying to generate orbs of light, but I'll talk about that later. So the Palindrome... Very fun hand cannon, you'll also notice it deals void damage. This is because in the Vault of Glass, I'm expecting there to be minotaurs, which basically means, you know, I can match the element and it's going to be a lot easier. Okay, the rocket launcher. Um, this is a Trials rocket launcher called Tomorrow's Answer, and the main reason I'm using this is because it can roll with a thing called Clown Cartridge, and what this will allow you to do is overload the magazine and have two in the mag, which is really strong for rocket launchers. So I'm going to show you why I'm using this. So this uh, season in the artifacts, we've actually got this new mod here. So basically what this mod will do is increase damage and also reload speed of a rocket while you're charged with light. And this actually stacks. So as you can see at the bottom, this stacks depending on how many mods you have on different armor. So we need to work out how I'm going to actually get charged with light in the first place. In my helmet here, we've actually got taking charge. So basically I'll become charged with light after picking up an orb. And as you can see, we're all masterworked here. So as long as we're getting double kills, we're going to be getting orbs and also having teammates as well that's a really fast way to get orbs synergizing with that we've got the new hunter exotic and as you can imagine this thing gives you additional super energy for picking up orbs of power and when you pick up orbs of power after getting your super it then buffs your super so as you can see we've almost got this all synergizing together here Right, so we're going to move down to the arms. I've got a sniper rifle loader. This just makes Izanagi's burden slightly easier to use. And you'll also notice we're stacking the mod again. And then we've also got a rocket launcher loader. So we're really going heavy on focusing on our rocket launcher here. Moving down to the chest piece, we've got powerful friends here to buff my mobility. Now that's just so I can get my dodge much, much faster. And then we've also got rocket launcher reserves. Just, you know, to have a bit more ammo so this class works a bit better. Well, build. And then I talked about the boots, but you'll also notice we've got rocket launcher scavenger here. And we've also got better already. So I'm going to be picking up lots of orbs and that's basically the whole build. So having health regeneration is really nice. Finally, looking at the cloak, we're stacking this mod again, and then we've got two bomber mods and then an intellect mod on there as well. So there you go, there's my class now. I don't know how good this is going to be. Obviously, we've played Vault of Glass before, so I had a rough idea of what to expect, but the encounters might be slightly different, so we don't know how good it's going to be, but I'm hoping this rocket launcher is going to be one of the better ways to deal damage. Anyway, let me know what you guys are going to be bringing into the raid tomorrow, but like I say, here is my loadout. Apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.